Chapter Two. Hey Ma, listen. Let me buy you a drink. The male club patron yelled out over the heavy bass sounding within the packed club. The stunning beauty that stood before him had him rooted to the spot. Her exotic golden Indian-like complexion was set off by her amazing bedroom eyes. Bedroom eyes, dog would have sworn changed from hazel to green, then back to hazel as she assessed him. She didn't speak to him, only inclined her head towards his conversation. The club's lighting shimmered on her brownish hair, which complemented her skin tone. The jagged little scar under her left eye somehow seemed to only enhance her beauty, allowing him to touch her hand. It sent a shock of desire through him. She felt smooth and creamy as churned butter. Her walk was that of a majestic glide. The subtle yet remarkably seductive sway of her body held way more power than the grasp of the man holding her hand's attention. A few insecure females in the room noticed her electric attraction and was dying from hate. A few other women, genuinely good, decent people, was dying to warn her of the grimy company she was keeping, but they were entirely too fearful to approach. What you sipping, ma? He asked smoothly, flashing pearly white teeth. Tender smiled. Hopefully, you. If you would like to leave with me, she responded. The smoothness of her voice, along with the flash of her pink tongue wetting her lips, instantly drove any course of sane thoughts in Rico's head to sex. Lucky him. So his pressing concern was if this bitch was actually trying to set him up or not. Laughing, he responded. <laughs> yeah, ma, I'm game for whatever, as long as it's a place of my choosing. Flashing that dazzling smile, Tender leaned in closer to him and whispered in his ear, "Come then, let's leave now, shall we?" This funny-talking bitch must have been from the burbs hood, slumming for some ghetto dick or something. Rico thought to himself, then shrugged. "All right," he answered her. Exiting Club Jewel, game gleaming, Rico was king of the city. You driving? He asked her. No, I arrived with some similar girlfriends, but I'm sure I'm safe with you, right? Yeah, yeah. You cool, ma? You don't want to let none of your friends know you're leaving with me, or bring one with you? He threw in. You know, just in case. Who knew? With a knowing smirk, Tender gave a silky response. I don't like to share because. You may not even be enough to satisfy my thirst. Arching her eyebrow condescendingly, Tender taunted Rico. Face flickering in rage, Rico smoothly snuffed the comment, making a mental note to punch the bitch in her face after he got him some from her. Who in the fuck did she think she was talking to him like that? Seated in his Lexus coupe, they eased into traffic as the Orangeburg city lights washed over them. Rico's hand casually caressed the supple flesh of Tender's thigh, making small talk to fill the silence. I see you don't talk much. What's your name? Rico asked. Call me whatever you like. And no, I don't talk much. I prefer actions to words. She snapped back. True. You smoke. Rico continued. Nah. The way she was looking at him and seeing that. Her no vices were unwavering. He began to interrogate. No offense, ma, but you ain't no type of professional, are you? Tender didn't even respond. She only looked at him in the same strange way she had been looking at him ever since they entered the car. All right, I dig. Don't get offended. I just had to ask because I ain't want to be making no mistakes. The rest of the ride was made in silence. The coupe slid up to the front of a two-story house and came to rest in the circular driveway. Come on, let's go inside. Rico invited her in. Upon entering the house, Tender's eyes swept the area and landed on a petite, dark-skinned beauty. 
Mimi stepped into the hallway. Her head and eyes were cast downward. Hey, Daddy, is there anything you need from me? Her voice was timid, and if she acknowledged the other woman's presence, she gave no indication of it. Her left eye was swollen shut from the vicious right hook she caught from him earlier that evening. Nah, I don't need shit from you, but for you to get the fuck out of my face, silly bitch. Rico oozed hostility now that he was on his home turf. The nice guy role ended at the front door. He was at home and he did what he wanted. She's very pretty. I would like for her to come watch, Tender expectantly requested. Rico looked caught off guard, but was happy as hell. His thoughts screamed, what the fuck? Damn, he couldn't believe he had a live one. All right, Mimi, bring your ass in here and watch this. Mimi was visibly startled and jumped to attention. Meekly, she came down the hallway following Rico and Tender. Come, come here to me, Mimi, Tender entreated. Every fiber in her body wanted to respond to Tender's soft words. Yet, Mimi looked over to Rico first, unsure if she should move. Tender watched Mimi, shifting nervously. The poor girl couldn't have been a day over seventeen. Come, I didn't ask for you to seek permission. Though soft-spoken and sweet like honey, the presence of command was unmistakable. Rico's jaw muscles flexed, but he held his tongue. He wanted to see how this was going to play out. Plus, he had plenty of time to punch Tender in her shit for still talking crazy in his home. Mimi stood close by before the radiant beauty who tenderly smoothed her hair from her face. Instinctively, her head began to lower. Look at me, Tender directed. Though she did not want to face this striking beauty with her own face, all swollen and covered in shame, she defiantly heeded the command and looked into the warmest pair of hazel eyes she had ever seen. My name is Tender, and you are safe with me. Do you understand? On a completely natural level, the girl nodded at her salutation and was truly surprised. For some reason, she actually did feel secure in the presence of this lone woman. Tender reached out and touched Mimi's eye. The swelling vanished, and a state of calm security set in for Mimi. Rico had not seen any of this taking place. Having already shed his shirt to reveal his beefy physique, Rico crossed the room to approach the women. Intentionally, he gripped Tender's shoulder as hard as he could and snatched her around to face him. The coldness of her stare froze him. Hmm. You're real tough, aren't you, Tender purred. The warmth of her hazel eyes became arctic. The arctic freeze bled the hazel color to all white orbs with only a golden slit at its center. What the fuck? Rico emitted a shrill scream while attempting to backpedal. No, don't run, Tender softly spoke. With his mind still functioning, telling him to run, he was physically unable to. Rico stood transfixed as Tender's fangs elongated and ripped open his throat. Drained of his life's energy, Rico was only an ashen husk. Completely bloodless, seamlessly the puncture wounds resealed themselves, and Tender retracted her fangs. Turning towards Mimi, Tender did not block her view of Rico's crumpled, ashen body. Are you coming with me, or not? Mimi was the only reason Tender did not kill Rico in the car outside of the club at first aloneness, and be done with it then. When he touched her hand, Rico exposed his true nature to Tender about his captive. She was who she had been searching for, but Mimi had to choose to go with her on her own free will. Gazing down at Rico's lifeless form was strangely elating. It happened so fast. Tender held her hand out and Mimi touched, and then held her hand. Mimi had already decided 
She was going with Tinder.